Okay, hello and welcome to another edition of Test Freaks Unboxing. Today I've got the MediaGate MG35 Network Multimedia Player and Hard Drive. Uh, this is from Geeks.com and it's a limited time combo, only available until the 15th of February. Um, it comes with both. It comes with a 500 gig. 500 gig Barracuda 7200.10 uh, hard drive. It is a recertified drive, which I've never had a problem with. I have several uh, recertified hard drives. I've got uh, quite a few of them from Geeks, actually. I purchased them from them, and they're still running perfectly fine right now. But uh, it's your standard you know, IDE hard drive. 500 gigs, oh, half a terabyte. Should be a whole lot of storage. All right, but here is the, it's a rather big box here. Uh, this is a network attached storage device, or as they call it, NDAS, instead of NAS. Um, they call it network direct attached storage. Okay, we got a, that's our box of course. On the back we've got specs. Specs, features, uh, supported. Let's see if I can get in here. MPEG-1, 2, 4, MPEG, MPEG, AVI, M2V, DAT, VOB, and IFO, uh, XVID, except GMC, QPEL, option applied, music, MP3, AUG, Vorbis, the photo is JPEG. Video outputs are composite, S-video, component Y, P, B, P, R, 480p, 720p, 1080i, progressive scan. Audio output, stereo, left, right, digital coaxial, Optical DTS pass through. Okay, let's check it out. Yeah, the first thing we're greeted with user manual and the network direct attached storage manual. Okay, we've got a CD. Grab all this stuff out of here. I see it's packaged nicely. Oh, there's a remote hiding down here. All right, let's check all this stuff out here. Hey, pack of screws, nothing special there. I got standard audio video cables. Over here, Got a USB cable. This would be a stand. A stand for the media gate. Nice stand. And a power supply. Which of course we need. Alright. It's two pieces. Power cable plugs into the box. Uh, standard, standard stuff. A remote. He even gave us some batteries. Um, I love the names on these. These are all keys. Not as bad as some other ones I've seen. Okay, here's the remote. It's a nice small remote. It's got all of our functions. For movies, fast forward, power, angle, uh, repeat, menu, title, setup, screen size, and all that, all that good stuff on the remote there. Yeah, obviously you stick the batteries in the bottom. And here is the media gate itself. Oh, that was upside down. But you get the idea. All right, let's open it up. Uh, it has like a clear, clear plexi plastic cover over the front of it, which actually has the numbers and letters on it. Uh, we've got a navigation pad, enter in the center, power, play, pause. Stop, int, init, initialize, I guess. Uh, power, network, HDD indicators. Uh, got media gate on the side. Uh, nothing on the bottom. So we got sort of thumb screws here. But on the back, we got all our connections. Got, uh, infrared, infrared external connection. USB, optical, S-video. 
video, coax, all right, left stereo, Y, PB, PR, uh, here's a power connection, and here's our network, LAN connection. Let's see if I can get this open with my fingers. Eh, probably not, huh? Nope. Mm, hold on. Ah. Oh, there we go. Well, I want you to open them up a little bit. They come right open. Okay, a lot of screws here apparently. Pretty big. But as I said, this is from Geeks. Um, it's a special deal with the 500 gig hard drive and this. Can't recall the price right at this second. But uh, here it is. Slide it off like that, like so. We can take a look inside. We've got a standard uh, Moldax connection. And we've got a uh, small IDE ribbon cable. Uh, if I was into it, I would pull this apart. But I'm not gonna do that on video. Looks like the hard drive just kind of sits in here, apparently. Hmm. Or not. I'm going to have to read the bulk. Uh, to find out exactly how the installation works. But, it's essentially, it's going to be in there. You know, like that, like so. Put our cover back on. And we'll play movies and music. I'll, uh, check it out. And let you know. How it works. Thanks.